Hello and welcome to this short video on the X controls that come with PDB Sequencer. What we have here is a clean installation of LiveView 2013 with the PDB Sequencer toolkit installed and I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how to use the built-in X controls. So I'm going to start here with a new VI. I'm going to tile this and first of all let me show you how to get to the X controls through the palette menu. So if you right click on your front panel navigate to add-ons you'll see a PTP sequence section and here there are two X controls so the first one is the tree view and this tree X control will display the contents of your sequence the second one is test list X control and this one's a bit simpler this one simply gives you a list of your tests making them available through drag and drop for editing and manipulation of your sequences so I'm going to start with the tests list X control and just drop that down here going to make it a little bit smaller and you can see that on the block diagram we get this terminal and the data type of this terminal is actually an array of test types so let's populate this with some um, makeshift tests um, so we right click on the block diagram and similarly if we go to add-ons PTP sequencer you'll see that we have some function here grouped by sequence tests and file and we're interested in tests and we're also interested in creating a test and we have some data types here, different data types that are supported and I'm just going to use path and I'm just going to drop this down on here provide it with a path to a makeshift test so that file doesn't really exist but for the purposes of the demonstration it's not too important and we'll give it a description and I'm going to create a handful of these just by copying this a couple of times and then just use a simple build array function to create an array of tests and when I feed that into the test list I can run this VI and it exits immediately of course but you can see that we have the three tests identified and these are now available for drag and drop into a sequence view so we'll go ahead and have a look at the other X control which is our tree view and I'll just drop this down on there and you can see that the terminal for this this is a sequence object. So I want to configure this X control so I can right click and ask for the properties and I want to allow sequence editing drag and drop and this will mean that I can drag tests from the test X control into the sequence tree view and I also will turn off the horizontal scroll bar. Now if I run this VI as it is it will exit immediately so I need to cause it to wait and the way I like to do that is with a little event structure configured to handle the panel close filter event and I wanted to discard that so that the VI itself isn't dropped out of memory and now I can go ahead and run this and I'm able to drag and drop my tests from the test list down into the tree now if I right click in the tree nothing happens because I haven't turned on the right click editing functionality so let's go ahead and turn on some more of the abilities here so I'm going to enable the right click contents menu I'm going to allow loading and serving to file and sequence editing menu items as well I'll go ahead and run this again and now you'll see when I right click I get extra options so let's go ahead and add some more tests to this list make it a little bit more complicated let's configure this loop give it a name okay and then we can right click save sequence and this will allow us to save our sequences to file just to show that that worked 
If I go ahead, select all, delete selected, we now have an empty sequence. I can right click, load sequence, and there we go. So that shows you how you can use the X controls in a very simple VI for dragging, manipulation, and loading and saving from file.